Hi Stampin' Friends! Today I want to show you a card that uses the stamp apparatus to make a wreath. This can be done with a variety of types of cards. Um, I'm using Christmas today, but you can use like a, a wreath of floral designs or a variety of other things like bows or something like that. So. The card that I'm making uses the under the mistletoe Sweet, which is this is the under the mistletoe designer series paper and the stamp set is, is um, called mistletoe season and um, Then the inside I just used a little bit of leftover designer series paper to um, add a little a little bit of Color here because I needed to line this because this card is awfully dark. It's the shaded spruce and um, you can turn this card on the points or you can mat it on a piece of real red and do it this direction so there's a variety of ways to, to reuse this card layout this is a four and a quarter square and it will fit in our regular um, medium envelopes and you know just because you don't fill the top space doesn't doesn't really mean anything it will still mail for regular price if you put it in a regular medium envelope so what I wanted to show you was how to make your template. You can use a, this was used the largest square in the layering squares die cuts. I just put it kind of centered in the middle of the new grid paper that's specially designed to use with the Stamparatus. And first you cut it the regular direction and then you turn it on its corner at 45 degrees and cut it again. Then I used it to cut a cardstock layer because that's just sturdier to use in here. You cut yourself another image, I mean an image layer to put here, and then you merely ink up your... Now I have gone through, this set comes with actually two pieces of branch stamps. So we get two for one on this. Normally when you're doing this, you have to move it the full eight times around the paper. This only allows us to only use four movements because we have two. So we're getting two for one. And then when you turn it, just turn it the same direction each time. I don't want to get my magnet in the way of my stamping. So I just keep moving. One last time, I know this is a little dull. But there we go, how quick was that? So all I did to finish up the card was I cut out a bow and used our small dimensionals under the tops of the, of the loops. And then I used this, a stamp that comes with this set, just a cluster of berries. But what would also look really beautiful and would be faster if you're not opposed to spending a little extra is to put a cluster of these beautiful real red rhinestones on there. I think those just add quite a bit to almost anything. Um, anyway, I hope this helps you and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching.